Hey guys, HDV here. Today I'm going to be going over a few things that you may have missed in the release trailers for the upcoming games Pokemon Sun and Moon. We have gotten so much information from all of these trailers that it has been hard to remember everything so we hope these videos will teach you something. But I can't cover such a big topic all by myself so I've gotten a good friend to help me out with it. What is up guys, this is John aka Pokemon and I am back working with my buddy Matt today as we list the top 10 things you may have missed in the Pokemon Sun and Moon trailers. Make sure you check out the video on my channel first as we go through numbers 10 through 6 before going through 5 to 1 on Matt's channel in this video. So with all of the introductions out of the way, let's get right into the video. In the second generation of Pokemon games, we were introduced to a brand new feature with the addition of in-game nighttime. Depending on the time of the day, it would either be bright and sunny or get darker as the day progressed until it was finally dark and nighttime. You could even find different Pokemon in the same area depending on what time it was and it's been a featured scene in many of the following Pokemon games. It seems like Pokemon Sun and Moon are taking this a step further as we've recently found out that the games are going to be set 12 hours apart from each other. And this clearly separates the two games from each other and will impact what Pokemon you can find in each game. It also is believed that it may impact the evolutions of some Pokemon like we've already seen with Rockruff. And it would be pretty cool if the rumors about the starter Pokemon having more than one final evolution were actually true. Pokemon Sun and Moon are doing something no other main story Pokemon game has done before by getting rid of gym leaders entirely. That's right, there won't be any badges to collect in this game and instead your goal will be to complete different trials throughout the main four islands. From what we have seen, each of the four islands will have a series of trials you must complete in order to be able to challenge the island's totem Pokemon. If you are able to complete the trials and the totem Pokemon, you may then challenge the island's Kahunas for the grand trial, and if you complete that, then you will be sent off to the next island. While it is very different, it seems like there will still be a lot for you to do in the game, and I am excited to try and complete all of the trials. One thing we have seen a lot in the trailers is trainers riding on a variety of Pokemon to get around the Alola region. So far we have seen trainers riding on 4 different Pokemon which include Charizard, Sharpedo, Stoutland and the new horse Pokemon Mudsdale. In the Alola region, this is actually referred to as Poke Ride, and the Pokemon you were able to ride on allow trainers to get to areas they wouldn't have been able to get to otherwise. None of these are actual Pokemon from your party and you were able to call upon them at any time when you need assistance in the game. It's left us wondering whether or not there will even be HMs in these new games, as it seems like the Pokey Ride has it all covered. The next thing on our list is the thing we know the least about, but the thing we are most interested in, and that's the man-made island in the middle of the Alola region. It is not one of the islands that holds any trials, but it will almost certainly be a big part of the storyline whether there's a legendary on there or some other special event. This island was even referenced in Pokemon X and Y which adds to the mystery of it as we can see in this picture. Make sure to keep your eye out for any other information on the island as it may be the key to figuring out the secrets of the Alola region. The final thing on our list is something I just barely caught on in one of the trailers and that is the addition of a variety of new stores. This image seems to just be a glimpse of the many new places you can go to buy various things in the Alola region and I am so excited to see what they have to offer. We've already seen new currency for buying clothes, so there's a possibility that you may be able to use that to buy things at these different stores. With all the new character customization features we've already seen, there may be even more things you can customize in this game, and just more things to purchase in general. But that is it for this list. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to watch the first part on John's channel. Click the annotation on the screen or the link to it in the description. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and comment your favourite thing about the new games that you've seen in the Pokemon Sun and Moon trailers. But that's all for now, so until next time guys, peace.